the navigation bar widget. This is what you will be able to create at the end of this video. First thing first, we will add a int current index and also a list, which we will call body of multiple icons. With this, we can go inside the scaffold widget and create a center widget. The child will be the body dot element at of the current index. This is the variable we created. After this, we will use the bottom navigation bar with the navigation bar widget. This one will use the destinations and it will require multiple navigation destination. The icon will be home and the label will be home. If you put only one of them, you will have a red screen. So make sure that you have multiple navigation destination. But now the button are not clickable. To make this work, you will need to use the selected index, which will be the current index. And then when you trigger the on destination select, you will be able to set state and say that the current index is now equal to the index you just received with the on destination select. And now you are able to change pages inside your app with the navigation bar widget. 